Sunday, of course, is Father's Day. It's time for sons and daughters everywhere to remember that special male influence. Well, our family health reporter, Ann Dwyer, is here to tell us that she found a man who can't get enough of fatherhood. This is, this is an unbelievable story. It's a fun story. story, it really is. The average family has, what, uh, 2.5 kids, say, I think? 2.5. Well, I found a family that uh, beats that by five. Wow. The Cavalero family of Tampa outdoes the Waltons, the Brady Bunch, and Bradford's Eight. But this is no fictional family. The Caballeros are real. Say hello to Elizabeth, Kate, Anne, Rosemary, Matthew, John, Tom, Louis, Michael, he's at work, and Joseph is away at school. The Caballero clan, six boys, four girls in that order. Ages six to 19, 10 children in 13 years all strongly resemble their dad, Michael, who, by the way, was an only child. We never planned 10, we never planned two. It just came out to be 10, and that was great. I'd like to have another 10. Michael teaches math at Hillsborough High School. Mother Kate keeps plenty busy at home. With financial aid packages, the younger children go to private Catholic schools. The three oldest boys all have academic scholarships to college. One's at Florida State, another at Notre Dame, and Lewis is headed for Dartmouth this fall. They're good kids. They're, they're not perfect. They're not perfect, they're like, you know, but we've had no heartaches, no real heartaches. Um, they fight like normal kids, but they always come through when it's needed. Do you like to try the soft pretzels? The family goes through 10 gallons of milk each week, two loaves of bread a day. The grocery bill is $250 a week. Food, clothing, and housing expenses. How do they do it on a teacher's salary? It's been tough. But somebody's been watching out for us. We have never starved. We've been lucky because they're all healthy. 17-year-old Lewis says people are pretty surprised when he tells them he's one of ten. He says there are some definite disadvantages to it, particularly if he brings a girl to the house. Not pleasant. <laughs> Not at all. They, uh, you know... They do like to try and make fun and, I don't know, they thrive off it, I guess. I don't know. Kate says it's really not as hard as people might think raising 10 children, although she admits it is easier now that they're older. So come Sunday, Dad will get 10 Father's Day cards, most of them homemade. Time with his children will replace store-bought ties. How's my sweetie, He's a wonderful father. He has the highest morals and principles and you know, tries to give that to the kids. That's great. Kathy, they live in a four-bedroom, two-bath house. It is a little crowded, but it <laughs> is a fun sort of crowded. And Mrs. Cavallaro says uh, she's always wanted to write a book. And uh, she someday should. she's going to write a book about her experiences and call it, I Can't Find the Other Shoe. <laughs> Yeah, Every morning, the the, one of the kids has lost one of their, their and shoes. And all really bright Very kids. bright children, and it was a happy family, or at least it seemed to be. With so much pressure these days to have smaller children, mm. I mean, do they ever get negative comments from people? They, they have gotten some nasty letters, if you can believe it. Some people say that you're contributing to the population explosion. But the family responds by saying, this is our responsibility, we have accepted it, we're not, not asking any, for any welfare or any help from anybody, and and, and they are. They're going through with it, and they take care of them. Great, uh, great Good family, story. and yeah, happy sure. Father's Day. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> There's a lot more ahead on First News.